Hello, today I decided to make a tape delay out of my Revox um, tape machine um, incorporating my modular synthesizer. There are numerous descriptions and tutorials online <coughs> on how to do this with a mixer or a mixing desk that has auxiliary inputs and outputs which I do not have at the moment or which I do not use at the moment. Um, but I have a modular synthesizer and I came up with a patch that um, allows me to make a tape delay out of this uh, Revox um, A77 MK3 uh, anyhow. Um, important um, is that your tape machine has um, a record monitoring. Um, here it's uh, called NAB. NAB uh, is a uh, short for the German word Nachbandkontrolle, uh, Revox being a Swiss company, um, have some, uh, some a lot of uh, German expressions that they use. Um, however, I will just put you through the patch, I guess. Um, I use a very simple um, triangle wave that is uh, played via my uh, Oops. via my MPC. This is how it sounds. Very simple sound so that you can hear the delay later on. So, <coughs> um, I don't put you through uh, how to patch uh, um <laughs> the sound itself because I think you, you know that. Um, you go out of the um, of the VCA here and uh, into a multiple. This is where the sound comes out, the pure synthesizer sound, after it's been uh, patched and played and put an ADSR on it and all that. So <coughs> then this multiple goes into the tape machine. which is uh, set to mono, so that it can receive um, input through both the uh, branches of the stereo chinch cable that, um, that is the input. Um, the other thing is that um, on this multiple you also go out to a mixer so this is the pure synthesizer sound put through a multiple, one, one going to the uh, tape machine, one going to a mixer. So the um, output of the tape machine, it's this uh, gray cable here, <coughs> goes into another multiple. This is another multiple. Um, one part of that, which is um, since we are later going to record and, and then listen at the same time. Um, this is the, the delayed signal then. It goes um, into this multiple and this delay signal also goes into, a, uh, into the same mixer where we put the, uh, the dry signal in. So this mixer has the dry and the wet signal, so to speak. So. Um, that's one thing. Uh, so this will pre um, bring you a very simple one one time delay, like bing bing, bong bong, and so on. Um, out of that multiple where the wet signal goes, I go into an attenuator and uh, I go through this attenuator and into the other um, part, uh, other branch of the stereo input of the Revox tape machine, which is set to mono. And um, you can make longer delays and all those feedback loops by uh, simply uh, cranking up the attenuator later on. So let me show you how this sounds. This is the pure um, signal now. Now um, I 
turn the tape machine on with the speed uh, three three quarters of an uh, of an inch, which is about oh, I don't know really what this means, but it's good for about 108 BPM, which is a nice tempo for my music anyhow. So this is the pure um, pure signal. Now I turn up the the normal one time delay. signal and now I turn on the the wet signal so you hear you have a nice delay this is 108 bpm goes very nice so then let me remind you we have that thing with the attenuator which is now um, at a zero <laughs> but if I crank that up longer and longer and you eventually get this uh, feedback loop which then you because it gets louder and louder so you have to um, make the right decision on where to stop it yeah this is basically it my uh, for a, for a tape delay just using a modular synthesizer all you need is a VCO, um, ADSR, mixer, uh, two multiples, attenuator, amp of course just some basic modules as I guess uh, everybody has even if it's not a Curetronic synthesizer as in, in my case okay this is it Thank you for watching.